this Ian Birchnall's third game in charge of Notts. Here's the side he hopes will secure his first win. There are four changes to the 11 that began Tuesday night's defeat to Aldershot. Wrexham come to Meadow Lane in good form, seven unbeaten, but they're without their top scorer, Kwame Thomas, who picked up a season-ending Achilles injury in training yesterday. Well, this is one of those fixtures you seek out in the calendar, one of those games that sparks the imagination to clubs who are always expected to challenge for a promotion. Two sets of players who will feel a return to the Football League is within their grasp, but there's thinking it and, of course, there's proving it. What better way to show your intent to demonstrate how good you are, Adam, than to beat a direct rival, which is the opportunity both of these sides have today. Oh, certainly a massive opportunity for both teams to really set their stalls out and for Wrexham to continue this great vein of form that they have been on and now finding the back of the net. We always know defensively they're strong. Wrexham could have an early opportunity here, and it was a good effort that by Dior Angus, a man in four, two goals against Bromley, but... Slocum got his positioning spot on there. He's not happy with his defenders, though. This is really, really poor defending. It's just an easy ball over the top, first of all. Ponticelli now will latch onto this as Knox rush players back. Angus waits in the middle. Paul Johnson's one of those who's arriving too. Really bright start here from Wrexham. And it's been given away cheaply now by O'Brien. Look a little nervy here, don't they, Knox? Pass by Harris, another shot for Slocum to deal with that time from Luke Young. Well, it's certainly a very, very worrying start for Notts County, Adam. Just a real early chance there. And this doesn't quite read the bounce too well, doesn't come across. And Angus leaves him with the pace behind him. Good first touch there to get out of his feet. To say Slocum made the angle tough for him to get it past him. Paul Johnson's cross in. Angus, who was found by Ponticelli, and it might roll here for Ponticelli, almost did. And Notts County coming under real pressure in the first couple of minutes here at Meadow Lane, and they're not keeping the ball either. Just coming straight back at them. And that was an awkward one for the keeper again, and Angus with the shots! And that's three saves now from Slocum in the first two and a half minutes. Well, I was really interested to see how Notts County will come out fighting for their fans, fighting for the manager, and at the moment, they've been absolutely abysmal. Chance to send one into the box, which is exactly what they do, and it might drop here, and Slocum was brave and got a really important hand to that, the goalkeeper, who's been excellent in the first nine minutes at Meadow Lane. Davis, nice feet from him, and the shot's dragged well wide. That's another scare at the back for the Magpies. Well, this is certainly the area of the game I think Jordan Davis is certainly bought into. I mean, it's the, it's the Achilles heels again, isn't it? Set plays for Notts County, just look nervous when that ball comes in, a long, long way. Chickson under the pressure there of Pearson, smoking with a brave touch there. But that ball travels a long, long way and there's no real confidence to go and clear their lines. Recent arrival on loan from Tram near Mark Ellis, promoted from this level by the playoffs with Forest Green in 2017. I remember him starting the promotion final against Tram near that year. Angus with the pass and hit first time and only just wide. Good effort that by Young, who is Wrexham's second highest scorer this season. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant play there, Angus again. Just coming short this time and he's been used to spinning in behind. Great little hold up play there, draws. Riverson and Young coming on the edge of the box here, just trying to bend it around Rawlinson. Chiaz couldn't quite get the connection to get it on target. Sean Pearson got it clear for Wrexham. That's a nice ball to O'Brien and a lovely touch by him as well. And Barnett will hit it. That's the best move the Knots have put together by some distance. Records attempted cross. They're down here for Wrexham as not to continue with O'Brien, Reeves, Griffiths. Good delivery that. Oh, and it was pretty close that. They're both sets of players are appealing here. And they're saying that was a, an arm use there. 
Jay Harris, you can see there, was the player on the line, but Notts County are insisting there was an arm used here. Well, they're absolutely adamant, aren't they? Ponticelli, the player here, receiving some treatment. Of course, player brought into the side for the injured Kwame Thomas. And this doesn't look good, does it, for Ponticelli? Seems to be in the hamstring area. Well, the, well, the shake of the head there from Kwame Thomas. I mean, now that's really got their backs against the wall. You know, youngster. Big staff's out on loan and Bobby Grant on loan at Oldham as well, so I mean, they can recall those two players back. So a real reshuffle of really compacting that midfield area and Angus leaning the line on his own and just trying to get players in and around him. So it's Elliot Durrell who's going to come on here. Yeah, I have to feel really sorry for Ponticelli who's had to bide his time, wait for opportunities. He'd come on as a sub in the last four games. How many times have I been sat next to you over the years and we've said a manager's described their goalkeeper as the best in the National League well the latest one is Leighton that's what Dean Keats has said ahead of this game he thinks he's the best in the league glad to have him back from injury it's amazing how many managers have said that over the years about their goalkeeper <laughs> Dean Keats might have a point though yeah I there. do yeah I think if, if I am going to put my neck on the line and say these managers do say they've got the best goalkeeper. I do think Bob is arguably, for me, the best goalkeeper in the National League. Chickson. Oh, French was caught there by Wooten. I see a yellow card here for the not centre forwards. Long gone there. Wouldn't put in the challenge. Booking for him. As the referee brings the first half to a close. The Notts County head coach Ian Birchnell just to again put the point to the referee because maybe it just puts it in the that bit of doubt in the back of the referee's mind. It might get Notts County a close decision in the second half, is the point I'm making. I don't know. Sure, if Michael Doyle was playing, he let the referee know on a regular basis every time he walks yeah. past him. He will be on in the referee's ear now. It's uh, an age-old tactic, isn't it, to put a bit of pressure on the referee when there has been a tight decision. O'Brien oh, chasing this down, and it was. Not the greatest of balls back that to Lainton. Paul Johnson. Down by record was a good one to Durrell, who's been able to turn here. Bounced off what you fell for Young. Harris. Durrell got it out of his feet, and the shot is only just wide. But he did that really well, Durrell, to get it out of his feet. Lovely touch, and then the shot took a touch, and it'll be a corner. So, so close there from Ellie Durrell. Harris is making a great little positive run forward. It's a great first touch, gets it out of his feet. You know exactly what he wants to do. It's a young shot in the first half where he tried to bend it around Rawlinson. He's certainly offside in that position. Great little touch there, great second touch. Fortunately, just couldn't find the bottom corner. Knight's chest down. Oh, such energy in the heart of that midfield. Young from Isis. Looking for Durrell. And Hall Johnson was first to it. And what he caught there! Jackson with the challenge, and it's gone against Paul Johnson. The Notts County players suggesting that 
There was simulation involved there from the Wrexham player. Not too much complaint from him and a yellow card as well. Shown to Hall Johnson. He was on the front foot, wasn't he? And just for that split second, when you see the players come across at that angle, you certainly fear the worst for Adam Chickson. The referee was in an excellent position there, and credit to him to, for me, that's certainly simulation. We do have three away games to come. Woking, Hartlepool and Solly Hull. In fact, if we include today, not to have played six league games more at Meadow Lane than on their travel, so they've got a lot of away matches to play between now and the end of the season. And Wooten here, with the collision with Pearson, this was in the first half, Wooten, which is why the Wrexham players were perhaps quick to surround the referee there, young the player down. That's the last warning Wooten's going to get. I think it's a lucky warning, Adam. The replay would need to sort of clarify this. A touch from him late there on Luke Young. Barnett, whose touch inside was good. Cal Roberts. And Knight. Roberts wants it, and he's got it, and he'll hit it! That wasn't too far away. Already influencing things. Maybe that Knight was in an offside position. Seems like Purcell was in the linesman's eye that would have played him on. Yeah, a bit decent seat. I was getting a good opportunity early on. Did he make that move in here for Knott's and the header is on target and it's turned home. Massive goal there for Knott's County. They needed it, and with the shade over 10 minutes to go, it's Ian Birchnell's side who are in front. They had so many forward there, and it's a goal that could give them a real platform. Well, it's the two centre halves are absolutely influential in this goal. I said set plays for Notts County are going to become so so important. And it's a brilliant rise there from Waterton to get over Vassell. And then Ellis is there on the six-yard box just to tap it in for an easy finish, but a big, big goal for Notts County. During the week against Aldershot, but he scored from close range there. The knockdown so important, though, from Rawlinson as well. Youngest Wrexham looked to hit back immediately, and the block by Rawlinson. Dean Keats is going to react here by making a change. Dan Jarvis is going to come on for Jay Harris on loan from Stoke City. Danny Jarvis. Linton already beaten once, that by Mark Ellis. But it is Cal Roberts. I oh, certainly feel the left footer on that angle that Layton had to trust his wall. Just trying to bend it around record there. A change being made by Wrexham as we move towards the last couple of minutes here. He's coming on with a message as well. Keller, it's Davis who comes off. They played every minute of the first 28 league matches of the season, Kelleher, but was suspended for the 3-0 win over Bromley, which allowed Pearson to come back in again. Wrexham the player down here for sell it is with the problem well a second yellow card has been shown here to Wooten would you believe this clearly must be for descent seem to be from the amount of time they're taking over the sun you can see there's blood there as well quite a bit it's a significant cut that it's the 
has evened things up now in terms of players on the pitch as well after the cell going off. Jarvis. Oh, that's a lovely ball back to Jarvis who tried to place it. it, was on target as well. It was a really important block that. Could easily have conceded so early on in the match. It's gonna come across here to Jarvis. His ball in. That's a convincing clearance. Oh, Johnson hits it! Wasn't far away from an equaliser. Oh, not a bad strike there from him. Gone into a decent position and not really the most convincing defending there from Baldwin and not really the most convincing defending from Notts County. Slogan maybe will had that one covered. Hopeful ball into the box towards Kelleher. He's back pedalling a bit there. And a goal kick is given and surely that is the last chance gone for Wrexham. It is. Ian Birchnell has his first victory as not County head coach. Thanks very much for watching. Please subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any of our content and click the bell to get notifications.